All right, gather around everyone, because today we got Rapid Core, which is one of my favorite uh, Half-Life Deathmatch maps. Uh, something to note about this map is that this came out actually uh, several years after, like, or I should say was added into the game several years after the fact in 2001. Uh, it was actually a contest for the website Planet Half-Life, uh, and the winner was someone named Michael Schultz, and this is the map he, uh, put in the game. And this is actually not even the first, like, the last time he'd win a mapping contest, because apparently the map, uh, what's the word? Powerhouse in Half-Life 2 Deathmatch is also by him, and it was also a contest. So, go figure. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you'll ever see this, but yeah, this is a great map, map here, Schultz, so yeah, good job. So it's kind of like, you know, at first it looks really small, but as you walk around and you notice all the little different areas that'll show off real quick, you start realizing that it's actually quite big. And there's a lot of little interesting things to see. Uh, a few of the um, areas in this game, uh, this level, are like in, like, you know, kind of like material, like radioactive areas where, like, something will happen if you go in. I also like that he made the, um... He made the wall charges and stuff a little bit more detailed than they were in the original game, so that's a nice little touch. You want this rocket launcher. I think you might need to grab the uh, long jump from somewhere else in the map. So yeah, it's, a, it's more complex than it might seem at first. There's like, you know, just a little things like, you know, this area right here. I always liked how this looked. It's a little glass structure. There's weapons are spread around good. There's a lot of find. You know, there's plenty to use. It's a nice little center area here. This is what I meant to say. It's like radioactive stuff right here. That it hurts you a little bit to go in, but you know. There's always something in there. I think that's a little goofy, but whatever. It doesn't hurt the map by any means. I also like this area up here. I'll, I'll just wrap... We wrapped around real quick, so let me just go back to the area with the long jump. Yeah, or the rocket launcher. Here you go. Yeah, that's how you grab that. Now you know there's some pro strats deep lore building right here. Yeah, this is the area I was thinking about. This is my favorite little room here. You got some more batteries. This is kind of a battery room, but that's not the only thing. Uh, see, this doesn't hurt you. What it does is that you have to jump up. It's like low gravity. And right here is everyone's favorite, the gauze. Which is a little less useful in this map, admittingly, just because it's not very vertically... Like, designed and, like, there's not a lot of places the gauze jump to. You could use it to get the rocket launcher if you didn't have the uh, long jump thing, though. Not much more to say. I think I've covered it about... It, like I said, it's bigger than it looks, but it's still relatively compact. To me, this is a lot more of what Frenzy should have been. Not that I hate Frenzy by any means. But if you're talking, like, a full server, like, this one, I think, does the job be a little bit better than that one does.
two radioactive zones up, I gotta give some minor criticism of the map. Like, I would've just had them, like, you know, just be open spaces. Or, like, you know, normal spaces, that's a better word for, like, for what I'm trying to say there. Oh, well, it, it's so minor that it doesn't really matter, but, you know, I gotta nitpick about something, I guess. grenades through here for maximum greatness. Yeah, just chuck them everywhere, really. Mr. Beat, not at all. myself better with the crossbow instead of the revolver. It was the other way around at one point in my life. Oh well. Anyway, yeah, Rapid Core, one of my favorites, and it holds up. Go play it if you can. 